Today's Monday, and we have a lifetime of back pain to living pain-free just for you. Every Monday, we try to do a case study to help you better understand who we are, what we do, and what's capable for you. We are the Illinois Back Institute. Our goal is to give you tools, the tools to help you live a better life without any pain. Today's case study is a patient who is 53 year old, he's a male, back pain and sciatica, and he suffered for 15 years. Before he came to see us, he had an MRI. He went to his primary doctor. He tried acupuncture. He was taking lots of narcotics and he saw a surgeon and the surgeon performed a laminectomy. He was a little better, but he wasn't a lot better. And then he started to get a little bit worse. Typical spine looks like this. The head's here, the hips are here. 24 vertebrae in between. The vertebrae are the bones. In between each bone, there's a disc. The disc allows for motion of the vertebrae. In between each vertebrae, there's an opening where the nerve comes out off the spinal cord, which runs down through the inside. And when these nerves get pinched, right in this area in the spine, sometimes what they'll do is they'll cut out part of the bone. That's called a laminectomy. The goal of taking the bone out is to free up the nerve. Looks like this from the top. Top view, one vertebrae on top of the other. We'll look at it just like this here. Here's the end plate of the vertebrae. We're seeing the spinal cord as it goes through the inside. When it gets pinched in this area right here, what they'll do is they'll cut out part of that bone. This area is pinching the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. They'll cut it out. They'll take it all the way out. That's a laminectomy. They're taking the lamina out and the whole idea is to free up that space. The problem, and this is his problem, is you can free up the space, but it does not change the load on the disc. And when you don't change the load on the disc, the way the stresses are distributed across the disc, again, this is the top view, and what happens sometimes is you change the direction of the load, and it'll start to compromise the outer portion. So if you free up the bone, and you don't solve the problem in the disc, then the problem very often doesn't go away or it gets worse. And that's what they call failed back surgery syndrome, which is what he had. He had surgery, he didn't get any better, so they're saying technically the surgery failed. Although if they took the lamina out, probably that part of the surgery was a success, but the patient did not get any better. He had failed back surgery syndrome. We have a nine step process. And part of our nine step process is to do a, an evaluation of the disc. And when we did that, what we found is he had a herniated disc, a bulging disc, and he still had stenosis in the spine. And those three problems, four, three problems were causing him sciatica, which is that pain that went down his leg. Again, the herniated disc pinching the nerve, causing pain down the leg. Bulging disc pinching the nerve as that nerve comes out of the spinal canal in that area right there. Stenosis, which is the narrowing, pulled out the lamina, but still has stenosis in other areas of his spine. When he came in to see us, his back pain in his sciatica was a 10. This is post-surgery, and he was taking narcotics. His oswestry disability index was an 80, <clears throat> and that's about as high as it can get without you having to be in bed all day. If you're above 80 over a period of time, you're really bed bound. You're, it's very difficult for you to get a bed because it's pain so bad. <clears throat> he had 58 treatments. His back pain was a two, his sciatic was a two, and his oswestry disability index was an 18. So the oswestry disability index is categorized by zero to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60. Okay, it's minimal, moderate, severe, crippling. So he was right here at crippling, almost bed bound. And this is absolutely as bad as it can get. And he'd been living this way since his surgery. Chose not to have another surgery because he knows that surgery, for him, surgery wasn't very effective. And the next level of surgery for him would be the fusion. So he came in to see us, went through the program, again, 58 treatments, and he got better. And why did he get better? Well, he got better because we have the ability to address the issue in the disc. We have the ability to solve this problem. We have the ability to take pressure off, get the healing in the annulus, and make you feel better. What's the lesson of the day? <clears throat> if you still have back pain, it's from the disc. If you solve the problem in the disc, 
you will get better. We have the nine step process. Our goal is identify what's going on with the disc, but also identify what's going on with the muscles that might be causing the load on the disc. We've talked about lower crust syndrome and how that changes the load. If you free up the load, things get better. In his case, his sciatica went away. The bulging disc got better. The <clears throat> herniated disc got better. The stenosis got better. It took 58 treatments. It took some time. It wasn't a quick treatment. Okay, it takes time. It takes time to get the healing in the disc. Now, we've talked about the spectrum, okay, from zero to 100. Zero being no pain at all, 100 being as bad as you can get. He was an 80. He was right about here. Well, typical therapy in this area will get you better, but above 40, which is the surgery point, anything up here, conventional physical therapy, narcotics, they're not going to help, okay? He was destined for another surgery. We did the spectrum of care. We were able to eliminate his back pain because we solved the problem in the disc. It's not conventional physical therapy. It's not chiropractic. We have the ability to solve problems in the disc. We take the pressure off the disc. We get healing in the disc. We free up the space where the nerve is, slowly getting better over time. If you have a back problem that's not getting better, you need to come see us. We have a bunch of exercises, tips, and stretches on our website. They're on Facebook. They're on YouTube. We have them on Twitter as well. So if you have tried the exercises and you're still struggling, it's because you have a problem in the disc. At a certain threshold, the only thing that will help you is taking the pressure off the disc. That's what we do. We're here to help.